Hi folks. Sharon here. Guess what? We're having a potluck at the campground. I'm, I've already made peach muffins this morning. Now I'm making some deviled eggs. Later I'm going to make tequila berry salad. But I wanted to give you a little video of the deviled eggs. I've already boiled them and cracked them and peeled them and everything, which I'm sorry I forgot to video. But I put my eggs in cold water on the stove, bring it to a boil, and when that water starts boiling, I shut off the burner, put the lid on, and wait about 15-20 minutes. Then I rinse them with cold water, and I don't have any problems um, peeling them. So, and I've boiled up 14 eggs this morning, two just for a treat for Jean uh, when I'm and taste testing. So I'm going to make 24 deviled eggs. I have my containers. You buy these containers. These are perfect for a potluck. So they can keep a lid on them, keep the flies off at the campground. You buy them at Dollar Tree for a dollar. They're perfect. I do have pretty cutesy um, deviled egg trays at home. But... We're camping. We're camping. My thing is camping this time of the year. Okay, so now I have sliced my eggs and um, all the yolks. Separate the yolks. Slice them in half. Pop the yolk in a separate bowl. Just like so. Take a fork. Mash them. Mash them pretty good. And they're easy to mash. Put in your uh, seasoning so that all gets blended in there. And my seasoning is black pepper. Okay. Red pepper. Cayenne pepper. Just a sprinkle. Don't go crazy. Some Worcestershire. I don't know if I'm... Worcestershire. Yeah, that's how you say it. Put a little of that in there. And I can't tell you any any measurements. This is tried and true. Just, they're always good. And secret, nice tablespoon, not tablespoon. I'd call this maybe a half a teaspoon of uh, horseradish. Okay, now we need some, and my, I always say, just plain old yellow mustard when it comes to um, fixing up beans or deviled eggs. This is, I've done the Dijon, but I, I, the mustard in this gives it a little more kick, along with the horseradish. Okay, now I wait with that mayo because that's, gonna give, give us our consistency but with all these other spices in here I like to mash it up and uh, oh so what's your favorite thing for a potluck I'm kind of known for my deviled eggs I know some of the friends they're bringing sloppy joes another good friend is taking baked beans um, oh Another friend is bringing a rhubarb cake. Can't wait for that. Oh, another, a chocolate fountain. We're going to have a chocolate fountain. If I have time, I'm going to make some little mini Rice, rice crispy treats to dunk in the fountain. Okay, we've got this. Bring this in, Jean. The consistency, that's all mushed up there pretty good. Let's put some mayo in there now. And that's all I use. I... I'm not a Miracle Whip person. I like mayonnaise. And that looks like about, I don't know, quarter cup. for. This is for a dozen eggs. Might be a little thick yet. Oh, I know what else. I forgot. Jean, could you grab my vinegar? Because when it's a little stiff, that vinegar is really... I'll run over there and 
grab that vinegar. I'm filling the, the halves now. And I used to go to all the work of uh, putting them in a pastry bag and making them pretty. But like I said, we're camping. So this spoon works just fine. I'm putting them into my Dollar Tree deviled egg containers and fill them up. You know, maybe I don't have them all filled real full. Um, the spices were right on. Jean had one, tasted, I did a sample one. And um, of course, Eldon, he had a sample too. And I got two thumbs up. So I don't know that sometime maybe I'll figure out exactly what the, what the measurements are. But I've been making deviled eggs since I was young. And I'm old now. Um, okay, I have a tray full. Now comes the secret sauce. They're all ready to go. You take that cayenne pepper and you give it all just, it's just a finger, one finger tap. And that's the kick that makes your deviled eggs infamous. Enjoy. Bye.